Peripheral, vascular, lymphatic. First, we're going to inspect both arms for symmetry, any swelling, or any pain. Do you have any pain anywhere? Can you hold both arms up? And I can check her cap refill. Let me come over that way. Making sure that she is turning back red. And I can check her nail bells for clubbing. She's kind of young, so there shouldn't be any issues here. There is a little indentation. Do you see a little indentation? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she has no COPD or CHF. Anything in the family? Oh, sorry. Wrist cap reflex. Then I want to feel for each of the pulses and check for symmetry with the pulses, making sure it was not faster than the other. Usually the ulnar and brachial ones aren't palpable, but you can try. Not you, I'm talking about can't get her break, you'll try her own back. That's really fine, the, the pulse. Make sure you're, you're using your two fingers. Yeah, but you have to and find this one also. Because your index has a pulse too. Let's try on the other side. I've got a faint one on this side. I can't feel them, so. Then we can now move down to... Make sure you grade all them from zero to four. Two to three is usually normal. Now right, we're going to move down to the legs. I'm also going to check the skin, temperature, swelling. Have you had any pain in your legs? I can't hear you. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Skin texture, her nail bit, but her shoes are on, so you check for cap refill once again. Hair distribution and ashiness. <laughs> Good circulation means there's a little, there should be hair, only she's shaving. <laughs> you're shaving, huh? <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> I shaved today. <laughs> oh, you're Then we want to try and look for the femoral artery and the inguinal canal. Liz, if you want to take your... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> femoral artery, and you want to go in a rolling motion to try and find the lymphatic nodes. Nice and you, Blake. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> either, either here, you can ask her to stand up to check for venous pattern. Yeah. Or you can wait till we're actually done. I want to wait till she's done. Till we're done doing this. So then you want to check. Hey, said don't do that. Okay, never mind. Cap refill. There's no hair down here. Or ashes. When you're checking for capillary refill, you want to do it over a bone usually. Over a bone? Yeah, a okay. bony surface. And photographing this? Yeah. Yeah. Recording it. Yes. Kind of pale here. Yeah. Need some sun. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> then we can go back and look for a teal, which is usually hard to find too. I've got a faint one on this side. You go through the clothes? Yeah. I can feel hers with the clothes, but usually you don't. You won't go through the clothes. And you want to do. The Posterior, no, posterior tibial on the inside. Torso. Yeah, the torso. Do that one. Also, where you check for the cap refill over the yeah, bony or just white. behind. Posterior to the bony problem. Thank you. Yes. Okay, I've got a faint one on this side. That's like a one. Like and you can move up to the dorsus or sylpetus. One. Usually they have uh, pulses down here. Just, just take practice and you can't find it here. It's good. It's still a good sign. To find my brachial pulse? Yeah, it's a really hard time. Everybody has a hard time. I can get your post tibia, but I cannot get your dorsus. Probably because your shoes are on. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little higher right yeah. there. So you'd go up around here. Okay. And, and then for DVT, right? Yes. And then you check for have to do dorsi oh. Oh. Have them hold their leg up and then dorsi flex. And if there's pain, that's a positive home enzyme. And then I'd ask her to roll up her pants legs and then stand up to look for any venous standing, venous pattern. And then we're done. And then that's the end. So stop this thing. Ooh, I saw your phone.